the surprisingly stunning afterlives of old coal power plants. As the U.S. moves towards greener electricity production, old coal-fired power stations are becoming repurposed for the new demands of a cleaner economy. For environmentalists, climate change advocates, and public health experts, the only good news about coal has been about the industry's demise. Competition from cheaper natural gas, a boom in renewable energy, and tougher emissions regulations have forced coal-fired power plants across the U.S. to close. While some opponents of the coal industry might want to see these fossil fuel relics flattened and sent to the dump, there are efforts to redevelop and preserve these important historical sites. One example is Powerhouse, a decommissioned coal-fired power plant that was converted into a student union, recreation center, and athletics facility at Beloit College in Wisconsin. This summer, the powerhouse has hosted a mix of low-income, first-generation, and minority students as part of a program to help them prepare for applying to postgraduate programs at Ivy League universities. It's a change from when it was the Black Hawk Generating Station commissioned as a coal fire power plant in the early 1900s. That's where it once spewed clouds of dirty air into downtown Beloit. Old coal fire power plants in some cases have become a destination. At the Powerhouse Eatery in Whitehaven, Pennsylvania, diners are served dishes of oysters, lobster, and filet mignon in a space that once supplied power to a sanatorium. The plant was renovated to create a restaurant in 1989, maintaining much of the existing construction. In Powerhouse St. Louis, many original features were maintained in the redesign. Years ago, you could see giant coal-burning mechanics through the 26-foot-tall windows in this 1928 power plant. In 2006, after the building sat vacant for 25 years, architectural design firm Canon Design bought it and converted it into an environmentally friendly regional office. Interestingly, when you start to learn about the infrastructure of the city, power generation facilities, you know, or switchgear plants or things like that, and you start to realize that there's a, there's a tremendous infrastructure already here. And if you can figure out how to utilize it in some way or grab it, um, it's, it's a wonderful legacy to continue on and repurpose, so. More remote locations are proving to be attractive for industrial purposes. At Mount Tom Solar Farm in Holyoke, Massachusetts, it shows how the removal of coal fire power plants from the grid create opportunities for cleaner energy generations. After one closed in 2014, a portion of its land was used to build the community solar project. The site now contains lithium ion batteries that enable the storage of up to three megawatts of solar generated energy. Completed in 2018, the 5.8 megawatt photovoltaic facility with battery storage is helping Massachusetts reach its goal of net zero emissions by 2050. It's a simple way of alternatively thinking and reusing the space we once consumed. This is Greenworks. I'm Matthew Long. For more on this, check out Dane Reese's full photos and article. And don't forget to follow us on your favorite platforms.